All right, hi. Look, it's something in my eyeball. Right in my eyeball. Do you know what my mom told me when I was nothing but a little nugget in a ball full of spit? She said to me, you ain't nothing but a little nugget in a big old ball of spit. And I carried that with me for the rest of my life. I never let go of that. I'm not letting go of that. Now my tits look bigger than the fucking Hooters at Hooterville. I've been in quarantine for six months. Okay. For y'all, it's been a month. For some of y'all, it's been a day because you're disobeying quarantine and you're going against the Lord and that ain't right. So I'm gonna pray for you real quick. Let's say a prayer for all the people who ain't obeying quarantine. They're going out against their parents, against their will, against Trump. Lord Almighty, Lord Heaven Almighty, baby Jesus, disobeying, not listening, disobeying Christ on my Christ and doing whatever they want. Just going out and, you know, fucking each other and that's not right. That's not right. Y'all need to keep your dick in your pants, okay? I'm gonna start my prayer over because I got distracted with your dick coming out of your pants, trying to do things when you're in the middle of quarantine. All right, so Lord Almighty, I just wanna pray for all the people who aren't listening to the stay home messages, which is basically that you can stay home, but you kinda don't have to stay home because if you work and if you don't work, you gotta do whatever you do if you're in the restaurant business. Lord Almighty, please forgive all these people who don't listen to the quarantine lockdown. Bless your souls. All right, amen, baby Jesus. I'm alone and I'm in quarantine. Now, I might pray for y'all that aren't in quarantine. I might be thinking about y'all, thinking, hey, this ain't right, but, that don't mean I don't have needs. That don't mean that I don't want to meet someone. So today, you know, I'm gonna go on some dates. I'm gonna find somebody. Someone who can tickle my fancy. Someone who reminds me of my daddy. Because my daddy was the best man I ever knew. Died when I was 13. Died when I was 13. Right in front of my eyes, run over by a bull. That's what happens when you live in Waco, Texas. You ever seen someone get run over by a bull? Well, my daddy got run over by a bull. I'm still coming to terms with that because I love my dad. He just died. And so that's why I learned so much about life. Anyways, hopefully y'all can help me figure out who's the right person for me because I've got a bad judge of character with men because I never had a role model past 13. I didn't, I was in Waco, Texas, but I tell you what, I got new titties on me today. I got new titties. I went to the doctor and I did it right before quarantine. I told you I've been quarantined for six months. Six months I've been in quarantine, so that's why I got these suckers and it took a while to heal, but they're nice and titty perky. Perky titties, perky titties. Percolette, percocet, perky tit, okay? Two. Oh shit, I pushed the wrong button. Y'all stop it, I will be in there in one second. Karen, what's she working on right now? Karen, these damn kids are gonna drive me up the wall. They're running around like little chickens with their heads cut off like they never uh, eaten in their lives. Ever in their lives. Are you feeding them? Hell, Hell yeah, fe feeding? Karen, don't you lie to me. Are you feeding them? You think my kids need to eat another fucking thing? They're both all fat as can be. I don't know. You know, I was going to say something to you earlier. I was going to say something because I saw a diet online for children. A diet online for children, Karen. That's the sickest thing I've ever heard. I tell you what, it is not. Like kids need to be going on diets. That's wrong. That's a, that is fake news. That's false. That's a hoax. Karen, what? I want you to listen to me because you know I love you, but I can't understand how you have two two-year-olds that weigh over 150 pounds. Ain't right. It ain't right. Well, <laughs> you have never changed. You have always been the judgiest bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, well, look, I'm sorry. I, I gotta laugh because there ain't nothing 
to say. I mean, anybody. Listen, listen to me, Karen. I'm sorry that you're barren. Barren Karen, that's what we always call behind your back. You know what? That was a low blow. And I am going to swab my nose to make sure I don't got the virus, which you probably do because your kids are busy eating all kinds of shit. That's not how you get it. Swabbing my nose? That's how you test it, Karen. Haven't you tested for your corona? You don't test it with the <laughs> 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 Where'd you go? Hey, I'm sorry. Why are you dressed a... like you're going on a video game scavenger hunt, Karen? Well, don't judge what I'm doing. At least I'm protecting my life. All right? I'm protecting my life. I got my gun. And I'll tell you what. This is where people, people be complaining, Karen. All the time. They complain about the gun control. They complain about it all. But guess what? Guess what? In times like these, everybody needs a gun. Now everybody what needs two guns. I'm not gonna let anyone get in my house. They ain't looting me. They ain't coming in. They're not gonna do, you know. I'm trying to I'm come on no one's house right now. Someone's trying to get into my house. You can track that on your shoes. No one's trying to track that around. No, I'll tell you what. Do you have guns at your place, Karen? Did you buy guns? Did you think? Did you think? About buying guns. You know what my daddy always told me? What? He said, guns are like a shoe. You buy several of them, and you put them with your outfit, and you fuck up anyone who messes with you. And that was his rhyme. Well, that's why your daddy got shot dead in the head. <laughs> you, don't, you think I'm stupid enough to not have guns? Well, I, Karen, I don't know. Your kids weigh 150 pounds. Cause my kids are well fed. If you I tried don't... mac and cheese, if you ever came over here, tried my mac and cheese, your ass would weigh 150 pounds too. <laughs> oh man, this is why I love you. I swear to God, you make me laugh every time. Right. Every I time. Know. We're just picking you on. Know? Words, I know. I love your fat fucking you. kids. They're adorable. Swear to God, cute, cute as fuck shit. Might die young though. You know what I mean? Well, I mean, I might die young too. I got the my food yeah. bill is basically like I'm running the elephant museum at the zoo. I get it. Now, did you go and you stock up on that toilet paper? I found a I found a coupon. I found a coupon at Walmart. I went to Costco, but I should go to Walmart. Did they have toilet paper or? Yeah, I got two hundred and seventy four packages. So overall, I mean, I don't know how that's legal because right now. <laughs> They're limiting it to like one. Not in not in Collinville County. Oh really? Because yeah. I think I need to go up there. Drive up here. It's like Drive thirty. I'm gonna have to be around the kids. Now I gotta tell you, I'm running low on my gloves. This is disgusting. Yeah, that is disgusting. That glove looks like it's seen more than just I know. A wipe Have you down. seen these? Look, what the fuck is that? Aaron, that's disgusting. Where you been putting that glove? Honey, I'll tell you what, I go everywhere with my glove, and I go with the one. Like you're fucking Michael Jackson. Well, I gotta have some kind of fucking style. I don't even know what to look like. I'm single. At least you got a husband. You think I've fucking seen disgusting. him? Go? I don't think Jimmy's tried to, he, we ain't even had sex one time during quarantine. No, that's problematic. Well, he's, he's so obese, he can't even get... He said he swears he's got a boner, but I can't see it. Well, you can't when it's under all the, the fat. Exactly. That's what happens because it's, you know, but that's why I'm trying to tell you, you got to put your kids on a diet. You're because, a fat You're a fat You know what? Bitch. I want you to look at my shit. I went to my doctor who tested for the corona using the key tip. You should be doing this, by the way. It tickles your brain. They say you can touch your face, but I'm what I do, I touch whatever the fuck I want. I'm like, you know what? I got fucking guns. I'm touching my face. Look at that. I'm gonna touch they my eye. Us from <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna touch my eye too. Touch, touch them my... together. They can't touch stop them together. Us from touching our eyes. <laughs> Ain't nobody gonna stop me from touching shit. Just just they can stop us from going to work. They That's can stop they can... our kids from going to school. 
But they can't stop us from touching our ass. Eyeball. I'll tell you what. If I was around your kids right now, I'd touch my eye. I'd touch your kids. You know what my mom said? <laughs> my mama told me. She said this to me before she died. God rest her. She said, God made dirt. And dirt don't hurt. Amen. You know, it's tough right now, Karen, because I'm lonely. And I can't understand how... You and Bill, y'all ain't fucking. Well, y'all ain't fucking. You know, it's fine because I got other things. I got my lubes. That's gold bonds. That's actually lotion, honey. I got one of these. Yeah, that's a thing. Now, I got that. I got that. Hold on. I got that. I think mine's bigger. Hell, this thing this? was. This is. This thing was. <laughs> this honey? thing. It'll burn it off. It'll Honey, burn it off. Give me two white claws in 10 minutes with this. I'm done. I'm, I'm done. done. I've had a good day. Honestly, I'm going to send you that diet. I know okay. you don't think it's right to give a child, but here's the, here's the diet. I just want to explain it to you because it's really easy, Karen. And it's scientifically proven. You're and I thought I heard something. I thought I heard something and I didn't. I didn't hear something. I thought that was my cat. Maybe you heard Netflix. Shit. Well, I ain't watching that. I had to cancel my script because I'm broke. I understand that. And that's why I, so here's the thing, Karen. You take your children, all right, and you uh, you feed them uh, rice cakes. One, one rice cake in the morning. Then you feed them one cannelloni bean. Okay. One cannelloni bean. And then you give them a diet substitute. <laughs> this sounds like torture. <laughs> <laughs> what you want, you're, my kid, you're making, you, that's the diet that got a Guantanamo bag. Well, no, they did, they come up with this diet in wartime. Everybody that was in the middle of wartime, they all lost a shitload of weight. This ain't a war, it's a hoax. No, it's, this is a war. It's We're a in the middle of war, okay? We are in the middle of war. And you Karen, you need to take it seriously. You think this is a hoax? Have you been listening to Trump? Have you been paying attention? Yeah, yeah. I got my news set on Fox News. <laughs> hey, Karen, Karen, I gotta feed these kids because they're starting to gnaw on the dog food. That's fine, Karen. Go feed your kids. Okay, let's I'm talk. I'll email you. Okay, bye. Talk later. Bye. Okay, bye. I'm prepping for this, uh, these Zoom calls. What is that? A fucking helicopter landing on my goddamn roof? Uh, you know, these helicopters, they're swarming all day. They're swarming all day. And that's why I got my guns. That's why I went and I purchased two. I didn't just get one, I got two. I got two. Pow, pow. Land on my roof. Land on my roof. It's all right. They're just trying to do their job. You know, they're following what Trump asked them to do. Y'all can think he's crazy as a fucking dune bug in a tree, but I'm not. And I listen to Fox News every fucking day. Hey. Speak. Hey, how you doing? I'm good. I'm, I'm good. I'm good. I mean, I'm as good as you can be. What do you, where are you, where are you at right now? I'm in my, in my, my yard right now. My son-in-law just taught me how to uh, set this up. Is it working? Can you hear me and stuff? I can hear you just fucking I don't fucking know how these things work. Your son-in-law? What's he up yeah, to? Yeah, you know, that, that son of a bitch. Just up to no good. He just run around, cause some trouble. He ain't obey no laws. Caught him shoplifting the other day. You caught him shoplifting during quarantine? Stop it. Where, what, he was Walmart? shoplifting during quarantine. Huh? Was he, he was at the Walmart. Walmart. That's right. He was at the Walmart. I caught him shoplifting. And I, I said, listen. I told you, I said your kid was going to do that shit. I said that little fucker yeah. is going to start getting into some shit. Mm-hmm. And I said, listen, if you get out of this store, you don't get caught. Right. We can keep it, but let that be a lesson to you. You know what I mean? Okay. He better learn. That's that's only how you learn. He goes, he yep. gets caught, he learns. 
did. So what he steal? He did get called. He, he saved about forty bucks, but that was, well, you know, that that's not. Right. How you, you doing there, sis? Well, did you pray about it afterwards? That's a big question because you can't get I'm away with that. Pray, I'm fixing to praying about it. Maybe uh, I think maybe tomorrow I'll pray about it a little bit. Well, that's good. That's good. I'm I'm happy to hear that. I've, uh, I'm going to on Sunday. I'm doing a big Zoom. Uh, Zoom uh, it's the Zoom, but what's it called? It's this called is a Zoom. Zoom. That's what this is fucking called. It's It'll called a Zoom. Zoom. A Zoom church uh, meeting. So I'll just get, I'll just get all cleaned up then. Clean all up. You then. got a Zoom church meeting? Is there anyone cute in your church? Because you know I've been single now for about a year and it's getting real and lonely. I try to set you up with Bubba. You don't like him, though. That's because he was a fat bastard. That's what he was. He was literally obese. And you know, I got problems with people that have weight issue things. He, ain't, he, ain't, he ain't fat. He's just got big bones and he's got the muscles on top of the bones and then a little, little protection layer on top of that for all Come the fat. Come on, Steve. He had tits right. bigger than mine. He had tits bigger than mine and you know it. I never right. saw this before, but I get it. All right. That's see, fine. Why are you having trouble with guys? What's wrong? With, what's wrong with you, huh? Well, I don't know. I mean, ever since mom and dad died, you know, when dad died from the the bowl that ran him over in front of my fucking face, I didn't. Yeah. That's when I I have had problems with that since I was thirteen. Uh huh. You know, uh -huh. and you were gone. You were gone, long gone, because you left early. Yeah. So you didn't know. You didn't even come uh -huh. back for daddy's funeral. That's the problem. Well, yeah, man. When you're driving trucks, you got shit to do. You can't just be come back to funerals willy nilly like that. That's bad. Uh, yeah, I know. He he was he was a son of a bitch though, you know. He was, he was a bit of a, yeah. He drank a lot. He knocked me around a lot. I don't know if he did you much, but he knocked me around a hell of a lot. Yeah, I remember. I remember that one time he beat you down. He kicked you down the stairs. That's right. He did kick me down those stairs. I never forgot that. I still don't got my tooth for it. I'd get a fake tooth for it. What you did? Yeah, I'd get them. I, mm, I basically but, had like a uh, fake tooth put in. You got dentures before you're even 90. Uh, hell yeah. <laughs> Son of a bitch. You know, God bless and all that shit, but bless his soul. RIP and all that, but fuck that guy too, you know? Well, I know, but you know, he was, well, because the thing was, is I remember him beating me downstairs. I do, I remember that. And then yeah. I remember uh, after he died, and that, because he was bull fighting, and that bull ran him right in the head. Yep. I was out there that day, you know, yep. and then mom died. And it's just like, ever since then, I feel like I'm fucked up in my head. So that's probably problem. Well, I don't one. know why you say that, but then you posted the video of him, of him getting gored on YouTube. And then you Come put on. LOL I and little smile of faces on it. Well, that's because he got hit. He was fucking hit by a bull. I mean, I know it was, in his <laughs> ass, it was up his ass too, which is a little bit funny. I know he's dead and all, but when a horn goes up someone's that's ass, you can't not laugh. That. You can't, you can't, you gotta Daddy, laugh at it. Daddy would laugh at that, you gotta admit. He if did. it was one he of did. us, he'd laugh at it. <laughs> he would, he'd totally laugh at that. He'd be like, all right, fine, y'all got a fucking, you know, horn up your butt. And so, like, I don't know, but, you know, you and Susie have been together for, what, 20 years uh, now you, or something? You can ask her when she gets done doing whatever the hell she does. What, you know? What's she up to right now? Where is she at? Man, she just walks around here, moo moo, complaining about this, that, and the other thing. You know what I mean? Hell, you would. Always oh, some drama. I'm like, we're in a lockdown. You got drama? How you got drama in a lockdown? What are you complaining about? Well, what's she pissed off about? You giving her well, something she, she to be pissed, pissed off? You pissing her off? You pissed off about Junior. You know, she said you let him steal. So I was fixing teaching a lesson, but he he got away with it. So that's also another lesson in a good way. It is certainly a lesson. Stop. You did. You taught him one. Would she say to that? Was she being a bitch? Yeah, that's it? right. If you chop lift, just don't be caught. That may not be a good lesson, but it's a lesson. It's a lesson. I'll tell you, you what. Know? I, when I was uh Oh, you froze there, sis. What's going you on? froze. I don't understand. Hold on. Hold on. You doing good? What you, what you yeah. up to? Oh, you me know, I, you? um... What you up to? Oh, well, me, I made, um... I made potato gratin, okay? Um, I don't know if you've had that. Your mom used to make it. Karen Beth used to make the best potato gratin. It's just, it's potatoes and onions, honey, and, and it has um, um, just a big splash of just Mexican cheese in there. If that's, that's what I had in the fridge. That's what I was doing. So <laughs> do you remember eating that? Do you remember eating that at home? I don't, but my mom, you know, mama died 13, so I'm not feeling too good to die. I'm not, I'm not going to lie. I've been feeling good all week long. 
Well, you know what I did? I, I went and picked up something at CVS. I bought this emergency. It's called emergency. It's so clever. But I do that. I put that in the water and I just take it back like a shot of it. And I, right. I, I swear to you, it keeps me away from getting sick. And it keeps you away from getting quarantined. I don't want that. I, know. <laughs> I don't want that. I'm on tape. I showed this. So I, I've been going on some dates because I'm uh -huh. trying. I'm not like going out. I'm not right. going out. I'm just going on a couple dates online. Online. Right. Okay. And I went on one. I think he was a serial rapist. Oh, yeah. I think, um, can you hear me? Because I can hear you fine. I can hear you fine. I can. Hi there. I can hear you fine. Good, cause I can, cause I can also hear you fine. You hear me fine? Can you hear yes, me fine I now? Yes, I can. Hear me can fine you now? Hear me? I don't. I can't. It's a little. I can't. Just try one more time. It's my headphones. Hello, it is Hello. Rodney calling via Zoom. Can you hear me? Okay, I'm Wait. reading your lips. I'm reading your lips. Can you test your sound on there. Test your sound. Ah. Hey, that worked. That was right into my head. That Good. was right into my head. Well, I'm, well. well <laughs> hi, Rodney. How are you? Oh, I'm well. I'm a little cabin fevered, but we're doing all okay over here. What sort of mischief have you been getting into? <laughs> well, I'll tell you what I did. I went down stairs i went downstairs i wore my mask i want to show you what my mask looks like rodney and i want to know how uh how you feel about it okay. and what kind of mask you wear okay this mm -hmm. is the mask i wear when i go outside this is what i wear oh i don't want to get corona. that goes on your face it goes on my face so i can breathe like a normal person is this creepy well, at first glance, when you put it on, I thought it was some sort of BDSM device. <laughs> but now that I see, uh, it looks That's like a, it's maybe helping you survive. It does help you survive. Now, I got to tell you, uh, I don't do, I don't know what you're talking about, this BDSM. You're right there? Are yeah, right BDSM, there? that's like lots of things. That maybe you could per perhaps strap on a insertion device on Put onto on. yourself, and so you can right. insert it uh, on your partner's okay. behalf. Now, Rodney, I'm gonna ask you to stop. I'm gonna ask you to stop real kindly, okay? I want you. I want you to see this. Oh my! See that? That's a gun. See and I that? ain't got one. That's a gun. Okay, I see it loud and clear now. All right. So just what are you gonna do it, with that? Snake it back up, snake it back up. You're looking a little creepy, Rodney, and I don't know. I feel like you might kill me. You gonna get to oh, me before Corona does? No, 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 no. That's I'm what not I gonna think. kill you. In don't fact, you? I just wanted to let you know that I have something of yours that I think you might want back. See, I was rummaging um, through. Uh, that's well, weird. What rummaging. the fuck is that? Why you got my hairbrush in your backyard or wherever the fuck you are with a lamp on a patio? Well, I need. I, what the fuck are you doing? I'm just trying to clean it for you so that I can return it back to you. So I, one bit. Hold of on hair. a second. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Because this is very fucking weird. How? I'm just meeting you. I'm just meeting you for the first time. You explain to me how on a cracker, how on a cracker, don't look at me like that. I got this motherfucking gun, Rodney, and I will hang uh -oh, up on you. That is, you. That's gross. All right? That is disgusting. What were you doing? We, you want to give me some hoot and hollering when we met? Creepy hair and glued to your fucking head. Jesus Christ, on a motherfucking cracker. I knew people were fucking weird. I knew people were weird. I didn't know how weird. That's why I followed Trump. And that's, what are you doing? What are you doing? Is that Joanna? I'm trying to give you a little bit of Joanne. Well, I saw a part of a tit. Ain't my tits. Mm -mm. Hello. That's a titty. That is a titty. Okay. Don't that's worry. A titty. <laughs> Loud and clear. That is fucking creepy. What are you drinking? Milk in a wine glass? You drink milk in a wine glass. <laughs> I tell you what, 
Chappelle, Rodney Dribble, Dribble. Uh, oh, Rodney yeah, I, Dribbles never dribbles. He swallows whole. Right. <laughs> he swallows whole. He takes it all down in a glass of fucking a milk wine glass. I don't, I'm going to go, hold on a second. I, this made me want to get a drink and it's only 9 a.m. <laughs> go ahead. Gosh, I'd love to see your mouth move. My mouth is moving and I'm going to have a drink with you before I send out my fucking cops on you. You know, I tried calling the cops. You got it. And I Do you heard, like guns? Do you like guns? I don't particularly care for them. I've just got lefty and righty. And that's about desert for me. Well, how do you protect your women? Well, I tighten my shoes and I run off. <laughs> Let them fend for themselves. You leave women to fend for themselves? Well, no. Well, yes, but I, I, I so run and I walk. So you're telling me you tighten up your the... shoes and you are creepy and you do weird shit with them and then you leave. That's what you do? Yeah, particularly I like to watch. Okay, so I'm feeling as though uh, this feels very uncomfortable for me. I feel at danger. I feel um, I'm about to put on some gloves. I'm going to find out where you live. Oh, good. No, nope, this ain't going to be fun for you, though, Billy Bob, Rodney Rue, whatever your fucking weird name is when you do Rodney fuck that shit to women. I'm going to take you down to Chinatown, okay? Oh, take me down. Yes, I'm going to take you to Chinatown. Honey, I'm dead serious. It's not a joke. I didn't know what to do. And I got, look at, I bought a bunch of these. I bought a bunch of ammo and guns to protect myself. Sorry, I probably shouldn't point those at myself. These are loaded. I don't know. I know it's not, I know you don't like judging people. And I know that's a good, I it's a good quality to have. It's Christian of you. But the thing is, it's, it's sometimes it's good to judge a little bit just to, just to keep yourself safe, right? Well, right. What do you do? What do you do? He had my hairbrush. <gasps> he had my hairbrush. I don't even know how I got it. Pulling out my hair and shit, smelling <gasps> it and doing weird shit. I know. I know. What I thought I met him name? online. I met That's... him on a dating app. His name was Rodney. That Did you block him from your Facebook profile? I didn't. I don't even know how to do that. I don't use Facebook profile shit. I don't know. What are you fucking talking about? Here, I need you to make, you need to make sure you block him from your Instagram and Facebook or any social media platforms you're on. I don't want him knowing where you are. Well, I tagged myself at my home earlier. Is that bad? Should I take that down? Tag myself safe. I put safe right here, it's location okay. right here, right where I am. I never put location down. I never do that. That is unsafe. <laughs> I should probably change it right now. Hold on. I'm going to mm -hmm. change it right now. I'm going to fix it right the fuck now. I'm feeling so lonely. I don't know what to do. I'm crying. I'm crying every fucking day. I cried right before I called you. I fixed my makeup because I'm not about to go and look like shit on a Zoom call with you. You look wonderful. I love your haircut. You know, we can do like this every it. day. We can do this every day. You know what? Let's do it every day. Well, that's ridiculous. We can watch TV together. We can watch... um. Touched by an Angel together, the reruns. I was just about to say that. I love Touched by an Angel. Touched by an Angel. Okay, so um, you made mom's dish. You made mama's dish. Is it done? It's 45 minutes on 400 degrees. So um, <laughs> it's still in there. And then what was I thinking I'll do? Um, I have two cases of just like spinach. I'm just going to saute that. Pretty healthy. <laughs> Pretty healthy for today. And then... Um, I might just make some pasta just for a side because I have pasta and I love it. All right, hi. Wow. You look so beautiful. I Thank you. It. How are you? You know, I've been better. I'm not going to lie. I have been better. You know, your picture, your picture on, on your profile on, on, on Tinder doesn't do what you, doesn't do it justice. Sweetie, thank you. Thank you. I am just in awe. My jaw is just in awe because I cannot believe how beautiful you are. <laughs> well, you know how to make Southern women blush, that's for sure. So I hear I hear like some kind of accent coming out of your mouth. What is that? Where are you from? So as I don't but I don't think you saw it on my profile, but I am originally from from, from Southern Africa. 
Well, I, you know, I didn't know because I thought like, I'm going to be totally honest with you. Uh, you know, I swipped and swapped on so many of these goddamn things. I didn't even know what I was going to expect. And so I've been on like, you didn't even pay attention to my profile. You just kept swiping and swiping and swiping. Yeah, totally. I'm just guilty. No, I did. I paid attention to you. I remember you. I remember you. I do. I do. I do. I remember that you said you like to eat goldfish on the beach. And I thought, is he talking real goldfish or the baby goldfish you give the kids? Because that's weird. It's my smile. You know, they help with my smile. Because the gold, Are you eating real goldfish or are you eating like the cracker fish? The, the little, you know what I'm talking about, the little thing. They're like, did they sell those out there? Yes. Are you out there right now? Are you in Africa right now or are you here? I, I should have been in Africa right now because I, I would be outside by the beach and be able to, to catch the goldfish. You know? right. Well, right. So you're eating real goldfish. That's what you're doing. That's insane. What, is, uh, what have you been up to? Well, I'll tell you what. I don't, I mean, I've been showing these puppies off all day, but I got myself two brand new guns. I got two. I don't got one. I got. I, I, do, I, I think I don't want, I should not upset you. Right? Yeah, no, you don't want to piss me off. I'm a southern woman with a piss full of, uh, you know, fucking gasoline. <laughs> ah, you know, meanwhile, we're struggling, you know, I'm struggling to find, to find supplies, to find food, to find bread and water and milk. And next thing you know, I'm, I, that's why I want to go home. Because if I'm at home, then I can just hunt for everything because it's in the wild. Hunter. So I'll bring the guns and you can hunt. What kind of hunting are you doing? No, we will we'll hunt for, 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 for um, uh, antelope and, 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 and... Antelope? Yes, yes. They I've never them. eaten an antelope in my life. <laughs> Not once in my life have I eaten an antelope. <laughs> that sounds fun. Of course, goldfish. So six months you've been, you've been locked in lockdown. How, how, That's are right. you, how are you keeping? Well, I almost committed suicide yesterday. <laughs> That's real. No, I'm dead serious. I, and by dead, I mean I almost was dead. And then I sat down, I prayed above to Lord Jesus. I yes. said, Do you believe in Lord? Yes. Of course, of course. The Almighty Jesus, the number one. Yes. That's right. That is right. I remember seeing that on your profile. That's why I swapped right. But I should, you know, it sounds like you need some company. company. I do. I do. I need a person. I told my sister earlier, I said, I'm talking to my fucking plants right now. <laughs> That's a problem when you're talking to a fucking plant. How long you been single? Because I saw that I saw on one of your photos on that line, I saw some girl in there. I didn't know. And I was like, maybe he's just lying. Uh, I, I, so my sister, we, we have a different, we come from a different uh, environment in Africa. You know, so we, we have multiple right. wives and multiple girlfriends, so it's not... Uh, that's it's probably not, not, that's not, we don't do that here in the States. That's only in Utah. Do you live in Utah? I'm not single. I just have, I just have multiple girlfriends. A lot of wives. How are you juggling eight, eight, oh, yeah, you got four wives? Yes, yes. Shit. I can't even find one fucking man. I gotta find a serial killer and a fucking man with four wives. I swear to you, I swear to you, this has been my day. I, I will gladly propose to you for, to be my fifth wife because you're so beautiful. In Happiness. Way, well, yes, of course, of course. Like, what are your wives' names? Who'd, who'd I be getting along with? So we have, we have Palesa, we have, uh, we have Lipuhu and we have uh, Yodi. You say Yodi? Yogi. Yes. Yogi. Yes. That's Yogi. her name. I feel like I'd like her. Not Yogi. Yodi. Y O D I. Yodi. Uh, Yodi. Yes. Right. Okay. Yodi Yodalatalu. That's like a Yoda Who. And I bet we'd get along like peas and carrots and a ding dong. <laughs> Karen, see? It fits right in. It fits right yeah. in. Yeah. I know, Karen is very fucking different, but I'll be honest with you, in a normal state of mind, if I was not quarantined and I wasn't thinking about killing myself a day ago, I might, I might actually go along with this. What's the offer? You go, you going to want to marry me? Then like, what's the offer? You got to try harder than that. We I didn't know. It, it, we have to, in the culture, I have to ask your father first for permission. My dad's dead. He died by getting hit by a bull. 
Yeah, and my mom's dead too. Ah, uh, but you, is there an uncle that I can I can know? You can or? call my aunt, my aunt, and her husband Ed. I love it. How's, how's Ed? How's Ed doing? He's outside. He's just baking in the sun. I told him to put on some SPF, but he's not listening to me. Karen, he's gonna get skin cancer, and I tell him every day. And you know what? You have fair skin, just like him. You need to I'm keep Michael that. I'm not I'm not Casper. That's, I'm almost the color of my shirt. <laughs> but it, you need to keep skin and you need to keep it healthy. I don't want, I, listen, right. you get, I, I had a mark taken off of my backside. I have a dent in there now. It looks like, I look like the moon, like a crater has been taken out of me. You got a fucking dent in your backside? I do. I have a dent, a little dent in my backside now. And you're always welcome. You know, we have an extra room here, Karen. And I, you know what? I don't care if you come and stay with us, okay? Quarantine schmorantine, okay? <laughs> Because I was trying to talk to you about your wife, and then y'all, you just like Man. disappeared. Yeah, that's that's divine intervention. Because I don't want to talk about that bitch right now. Well, because she, you know, she'll fucking kill you. She doesn't Hell mess I around. Don't. She got fucking guns worse than I do. Yeah. Hey, not just the guns. You should see what she does with them knives in the kitchen. Sometimes Holy she be, shit. She be fixing me a meal. She pulls out a knife and gives me a look. I know what she gives me that look for. Cause she gonna fucking kill you. I'm gonna show you something. I want to show you what I bought yesterday. Uh, Cause I already uh -huh. had one of these, right? I had one. I bought two pistols. Uh -huh. I bought a fucking flamethrower. All right. I bought an automatic weapon. I bought 17 knives, and I'm not talking fucking kitchen knives. All right. Uh -huh. That's what I did. That's what I did, Steve. Because yeah. I thought I don't want to be fucked out here, screwed over. You know what I mean? Yeah. I'm alone. I ain't got nobody. You look like that. Uh, that. Uh, what was she? Some paleontologist, uh, She's, Lara Croft, run around. Why is everyone keep telling me that shit today? You know, I've heard that like seventeen times today. Why? My oh, son about play that play that video game. One time I came in, I saw him jerking off to it. He was jerking yeah. off to a video game. What'd you say? What's that doing to Jay's Jay's generation's little kids jerking off to video games? Well, it's ruining them. You ever heard of this little stupid thing called Twitch? People on there like fucking around and. Dude, they play like games on there. Yeah, they call it Twitch because they be have, have orgasms all the time. They twitching when they have the orgasm. Right, they're fucking your your little son-in-law thing, whatever the fuck he does. He is when I the last time I was out there visiting y'all, he was beating off into a bush. I found uh -huh. him beating off into his hand. Uh huh. In a public place, then yep. he beat off into a washcloth. I had used my face. You know, I washed my face with it earlier that day. I thought, you know what? You got a fucking little horny toad living yeah. in your house. No, I know. But, you know, you should, also, should be walking around the house in a thong. That was a little bit inappropriate, I thought. But, you know, I didn't say anything at the time. Um, yes, sir. <clears throat> <laughs> Come on. No one ever told me. <laughs> I mean, you know, I, I'm just doing me. I just try to live my life. I get it. I get Living it. Well, I'm glad you're all. I'm glad you're all strapped like up tits. there. I just got new tits. Hey, I, I, you, my sister. I don't want to look at your tits anymore. Come you on. Know? Come on. I mean, I just for the love. Of, I got to tell you though. Earlier today, now this, I went on a date. Okay, I went oh. on a date. But I didn't like to go outside because I'm trying to stay safe and everything. So I like went on a Zoom date, and I swear a to you, Zoom was, date, a Zoom date. It was so totally like what we weird. what we're doing right now. But you're talking about but you're talking, talking about me. like boning and stuff. How's that yeah, work? Well, we didn't go straight to that, but I mean, we started off. The guy was fucking drinking milk in a wine glass. What? You I heard know. that? that was milk. I swear to God, it was, I mean, I don't know what the fuck it was. It was white and it was disgusting. Mm. And then he was, he had my hairbrush. I don't even well, know how he had your it. hair. How do you have your hairbrush? I don't know. He had my hairbrush and he was brushing his fucking hair with it. And I swear to you, he was like a serial killer. I don't know how I, you know, I find no one right now. I'm like uh -huh. alone. And then the Let me ask you a question. Like, you mean he had the same brand and style of hairbrush or he had your, your exact hairbrush from your home? No, he had my exact hairbrush, like, from my fucking home. With your, like, little blonde hairs in it With and shit? my baby blonde hairs in it and shit, I swear to you. He, was, he like, told you he got that hairbrush? 
he said he got it because he pretended to be my fucking mailman. And he went down to the, the post office or something. Uh -huh. and it was in there. I don't know. It's weird. It's weird. And the thing was, is earlier today, I pinned my location. You ever do that? Like on the Insta? The Insta I don't know what the hell you're talking about. Pinning a location. Pinning I'm, a location. Well, that's I'm because the... you live in fucking fuck, fuck Egypt with you and your child beating off and things. Oh, don't even get me started on that again. But that's on the Insta, the, the face scram or whatever? The face scram. That's what it is. It's actually, I think it's called Insta. Okay. Insta G or something. So something you, tell, with a G. you tell a creepy guy who has your hairs in your brush where you exactly live. I, I didn't, but the thing was, I thought maybe he was going to be, you know, attractive, whatever. He didn't look nothing like his picture. Didn't look uh -huh. nothing like it. Scared the uh -huh. fucking shit out of me. I pointed my guns at him in the call and stuff, but I called the cops. They said, fuck off. Yeah, That's I mean. They told me. They don't care. So. You point your guns at your computer is what you're saying to me, sis. I'm just trying to figure it out. <laughs> oh, <God. Sorry. laughs> uh, I don't know wh where you got <laughs> I don't know where you got your guns, by the way, but you know the red the red tip part means it's a toy gun. You might have been you might have been ripped off if you went to them Craigslists or something. <laughs> oh, God. He's real. <laughs> <laughs> These are totally real. And I painted the tip red yeah. so that I oh. could travel with them. That was the yeah. purpose. That I did that. That was the after effect. To trick people so they, so, <laughs> so you say it's like, what's this gun? You're like, oh, it's just a toy gun for my, my kid. Right, tell, tell, tell me about this zoom so he, he was creeping you out <laughs> you pin your yeah, no he was he totally fucking creeped me out I swear to god hold on it's hot as shit in my place it feels like a swamp of lizards or something died in here i don't know if so i turned on the fan yeah. um so he was like creepy as fuck mm -hmm. yeah i pointed my gun straight at the computer that's what i did i pointed right like this i'll show you what i did yeah i did this Oh, you double fisted it too, huh? That's exactly what I did. I was like, and yeah. then he was like, "That's cool." He didn't even he didn't even flinch. You know, he wasn't even scared at all, huh? Didn't even flinch. Mm. I don't know. Maybe I should unpaint these red. Maybe he thought they were fake. Oh uh, yeah. Did he and say he was he fixed? Thought. Did he say he was fixing to come over? Yeah, he said he was going to come over. Oh shit. I, yeah. So I'm pretty fucking scared right now. Well, I might have so to I'm go really over there and open up a can of whoop ass on that guy. Mm -hmm. Tell that yeah, guy that you got a brother who's about to open up an 80 gallon drum of whip ass on him if he tries okay. to come over. I will. I will because you know what? He's he's trying to call me. Like even right now while I'm talking to you, he's like bringing up my phone. On and the, then on, on the on the call on the, the on the, yeah. the thing, yeah. And and I went on another date uh, uh -huh. with some guy who was like some king of some he was like a king in africa and he said he fucking eats antelope king in africa fish. eating ap, ap what eating ap and goldfish did you say yeah he was eating antelope and goldfish i said man you know i grew up in the south i don't eat antelope yeah. i mean i've eaten you know elk mm -hmm. which we used to eat squirrels remember back in the day we ate squirrels i remember that squirrel i love fucking squirrels Daddy good, got good. laid off we used to eat a lot of squirrels at that time a lot of squirrel. remember that time we ate them chipmunks we felt bad about it we cried for days huh god damn it that chipmunk was cute it was, cute. It was a yeah. cute fucking chipmunk and i named him and then yeah. when we ate him it was man i felt like yeah. fucking, i don't yeah. think it was fair that daddy let's have chipmunks as pets and then eat them eat them well yeah. that's because we ran out of food you know it was like we didn't have enough money we didn't have enough food and Suddenly, we're eating our fucking pets. Yeah. Remember when we roasted the dog? Oh, I don't even want to talk about that. That was that was delicious, though. I got that a was, pet. Them Chinese I, people do got something. Do they? They're onto something with them eating them dogs. So, I remember when I first time I I, I had a uh, I had a bit of spikes uh, thigh, and I was like, man, I feel really bad. But then right. I ate it, and right. it tasted just like a juicy chicken. A chicken. Yeah. Yep, because, you know, Spike was a lazy son of a bitch, too, so he didn't move around too much, so then muscles was soft. 
Yeah, it was like, well, Spike was also obese. I he mean, was he very was about obese. as big as your he child. He just sat there on that little cushion. And laying around all day. His muscles got so tender. Tender. Yeah, they I sure never did. Ate Spike. I never, I never wanted to eat Spike. No. I didn't either, wrong. but when I did, I felt all right about it. I you feel like okay. that's how Spike, Spike would be okay with that. If he knew that we didn't, we'd enjoyed him that much. Yeah. Yeah, he'd be like, that's fine. You know, that's why I lived. I yeah. lived to give to you and, you know. Yeah. So, I don't know. I mean, I'm just trying to freaking pass the time or something. I ripped my glove. It's my only glove I got left. Uh-huh. In the Corona. How'd you rip your glove? Well, I was trying to take it off. It was stuck to my fucking hand. Why well, don't have one glove like Michael Jackson? <laughs> What's going on in the back? You got some sort of uh, poltergeist in back there? Why is that curtain moving? <clears throat> Son of a bitch. It's my yeah. cat. My fucking cat. cat oh. Cat. <laughs> he's, he's right here. He just came home. Hi, cat. Yeah, he, he goes outside all day. You know, at least uh -huh. it's like we're fucking caged animals, but they get to, like, go roam and... Living uh -huh. class worth living, I suppose. Well, hell, look. I mean, you're stuck at home. I guess right. you're not getting any of the sex. It's like being married anyway, huh? Yeah, it's a bit of both. You know, at least I'm not having to deal with your moo moo shit. I mean, I don't know how long you... Y'all have been married for so long, it makes me sick. I don't even know how you do it. I, I tell you what, I don't. The only thing that's fun now is sometimes we're in bed, our farts talk to each other. <laughs> well, that's funny. Yeah, that's that's funny. Funny. I like that you guys do that. That's cute. It's like synchronized swimming with farts or something like that. Well, as long as you lift your butt cheeks and you toot. Yeah. Anyway, right, so well, I'm you got any more dates me. coming up? Well, I'm supposed to have like two more, but right now I just feel fucking weird. You know, I met a king of Africa. He had like seven king of five. Africa. Is yeah, he, was, he he had, was, he, was he a Negro fella? Yeah, he was black. Did he have one of them funny Negro uh, African accents? He had a weird name. It had a click in it. It was like, I don't even oh, know. So I just called him something else. I was like, I can't pronounce that click shit. I don't hey, know. He's a king. That might not be a bad idea. You could be a queen. Well, he said he needed to ask permission to marry me to someone. I uh -huh. said, listen, my dad's dead. I said, my dad is dead. So yeah. if you won't ask someone, you have to, have to call my brother. Yeah, he could call me. And maybe I, we did, we could, maybe in Africa they have them dowry things. You could right. pay me some sort of finder speed for you or something like that. Hey, that's I'm fine with that. You know, because right. right now, like, I'm going to go on about another date or something, but if nothing happens, it's like, fuck it. Yeah. I'll get married. Uh, he's got five wives. It's not like it's going to be the yeah. deal for me. You know, they can take care of and do whatever. I'll just, like, move. I, I, he wants me to move to Africa, though. Like, that's kind of weird. Yeah. That's weird. Uh -huh. Yeah. So it's like... Right? In the jungle and stuff like that? In the There's jungle. Like, That's they got cities in Africa. They got cities in Africa too, right? No, no. He lives right in the dirt. He lives in the jungle, in the dirt. That's what he said. Wow, man. Well, I do like watch a lot of Animal Planet, and it might be fun right. to check out some of them some fucking animals and stuff like that for a bit. Well, fuck it. I mean, he shoots antelope. I told uh -huh. him, I said, I bought a fucking flamethrower. Can I bring it? He said, totally. Bring it. Bring your flamethrower. Bring your knives. So I was like, all right, cool. You know, if you want to call my brother and talk to him later, you know, I'll yeah. give him your, your number and he can just like propose. Yeah, I'm, not, I'm a good negotiator. I'll negotiate a good deal. I was ahead of my youth yeah. back in the day, so I'll negotiate a good deal for you, you know? Well, yeah, no, I know you will. I know you will. I trust you. I yeah. trust you. Just make sure we get a lot of money and, you know, we get like first in line. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. The other wives. Just tell them first in line. That's what we want. I mean, all the times before where I, where I basically had guys pay me to get with you, it wasn't that much money. So I'll make sure I up it, you know? Steve, what the fuck? You told me it was better than, like, dirt. It wasn't yeah. that much money? I mean, you know, it helped, helped pay for my help house. Help pay for my tits. That's what it helped. Yeah, yeah. Well, I'll, I'll go to this church Zoom meeting and see who I can find. I'll talk to this African African king and stuff like that. See, we got right. going there. Or tell and, people, tell them while you're at church, just say she's back to marry an African king. She's got it going on. She, yeah. Everybody wants her. Who wants to? You Can know, I tell her. them about your new tits? Is that something that you yeah, think you want to hear about? That's why they're here. Call yeah. them up and say, my sister got big titties. 
yeah. you know, maybe don't say it like that. Maybe say it like, you know, I've got my sister's got her boobs done or tits done or something. And I should also probably tell it, the herpes is under control now, right? I got it. I got this new right. shit. It's like a herpes virus thing. I take it. Uh -huh. Lysine helps kind of keep it under control. Okay. That's okay. after years of years of having that breakout just crazy. Oh, I remember that. I remember that. It did not look good at all. It was horrible. It was all over my fucking face, too. Uh, that's with puberty. That's why that's so challenging for people, I think, you know? Yeah. Because your daughter, she's going through that right now. She's got it all over her face, too. Oh, my God. My daughter, I haven't seen her in a while. She's off with well, that. She called me she's yesterday. That, she's off with that, that fella. What's his name? The, the half, half a Mexican fella. Oh, God fella. damn it. He's not, oh, Jesus. Uh, yeah, well, you know, I think his name was Beatbox. Beatbox? Some shit, yeah. I don't know. He comes up with these crazy ass names. He was a rapper. Oh, he's, so, a, he's, a, he's a Mexican rapper. He was a Mexican rapper. That's exactly what I he was. I just didn't like that fella. He had them neck tattoos. He had those spider webs under his eyeball. Yeah, spiders under his eye. It was like, why would yeah, you? He had teardrops. Like I was like, them teardrops mean he's a murderer. And she said, no, he just sensitive. Yep. He just showed me oh. how sensitive he is on teardrops. Come on. That don't Come sound on, that's right. a bunch of bullshit, and you know it, and I know it. A little it. naive for 15, you know? Well, she's, yeah, I'd say, I'd say. I mean, she tried to lie to me. She called me yesterday. I told uh -huh. you that, right? She called me yesterday. She said, hey, Aunt Karen, can you just help me? Because I got the herp just like you did. Uh -huh. And I said, how'd you get it? I said, don't you lie to me, child. How'd you get it? And she said, I, I, don't, I don't know, and... I've never ever slept around or, you know, been with anyone. And I was like, you know, honestly, I just can't handle your children when they lie like that. They're just the honesty. Yeah. yeah. I mean, she's living with the guy in his RV. In his RV. He's got tattoos all over on his every which eyeball. way on his body. Right. He's probably got the inside of his eyeballs tattooed. Yeah. I think so. I think I saw it in the back. She's got a she new herpes outbreak all over her body and face. She telling me she ain't having sex. She waiting until marriage. She lying. She's not waiting until marriage. She's having, you know, all kinds of fun at 15 alone yeah. in a trailer. And all you can do is be like, look, take your hurt virus. Take care of yourself. Quarantine. Don't go outside. Yeah. Get your guns. Do what your dad taught you. I mean, yeah. shit, hopefully you taught her something before she moved out at 13. One thing I taught her was when she was going to move with this guy, I taught her some good self-defense moves. Well, what? that's good. That's yeah. good. Sometimes, that's she can good. Be, sometimes she can be a little lippy and start talking well, back. And I was like, That's because she's a teenager. Yeah. There might be repercussions. You should learn how to defend yourself. Well, that's good of you because, you know, she's probably getting her ass whooped. Yeah. No, I know. I mean, I don't want to make any, any racist uh, stereotypes about Mexicans with face tattoos. Well, uh, but it's true. It is. You got sight because when it's out there, it, it just is. It's like, well, that's fucking true. You uh -huh. know what I mean? Yeah. Well, um, I'm going to, I got to go on my date uh, here in a bit. So I'm going to let you go. And, You're going to wear them you know, guns to your date? Fuck yeah, man. I'm going to let everyone know what I've got. Like, that's a good idea. Yeah. I'm just keep pointing. I'm going to, I think I'm going to get rid of the red though. I feel like you're right. Maybe these aren't scaring people the way that they should. Yeah, and when you shake it like that too, and you hear like little plastic rattling around. <laughs> yeah. Right, right, totally. I get it. I get it. So I'm gonna not shake my gun, and oh, I'll probably just switch out to the flamethrower. <laughs> I mean, hey, if I was on a date with a girl who had a flamethrower, I think that was pretty badass. That thing would be fucking cool, right? I know. I know. Yeah. And I, so I'm going to do that. I'm, if if the serial killer comes by, I'll let you know. All and, right. you know, if I get a hold of the king again and he wants to propose, I'm going to give him your number. Yeah, please do. And what's his name again, just in case he called me? Edward. Edward? Well, that's African what he said. King. The name was Edward. That's what he said. I don't know, man. I couldn't understand his name. It was a hip and a hop and a... It could be it a... had a ding-dong in it. He could be one of them catfish people. You know about them? That show the catfish with people, they right. dip them when they say it is. Not like they tell you something just to get you in. and. Uh -huh. he, might he might actually not be an African king, come think about it. 
Well, I don't know. Maybe he's not. Maybe you need to talk to him and find out. Mm-hmm. Maybe you need to call him up and say, hey, I know you won't marry my sister and find out his ding dong name because I couldn't remember it. It was like a lot of clicks and a lot of clicks. Yeah. I I hope you, didn't give, you didn't give me your social security number, did you? Well, I did. That was the first fucking thing I did. What do you mean? God damn it. What do you mean? I did that first. I tagged myself on the face in thing, whatever that was. Uh And then it said to connect to this caller, add your social. That's what I put in. I put my social in. Yeah. Maybe credit card for verification too. You did that, huh? Yeah. Mm Mm-hmm. Well, sis, I had to break it to you, but uh, that guy might be using that to get get a gift card at Walmart. Why would he do that? Yeah, maybe he just thought that uh, now with this quarantine, there's a lot of them hacker people out there just trying to get gift cards at Walmart. So you get your information, he clicks it in there, little computer. Hell no, I don't know. Maybe he maybe he saw that one porn you did on the uh, on the porn hubs with the black man and said, hey, she likes the BBC. He might have seen that. That's true. He might have seen that. Or he's going to Walmart with my fucking money. I don't know. I got to call and cancel my fucking Walmart card now. That's the one I put in there. I put in my fucking Walmart card. Oh, God damn it. All right. Well, just just make sure that's all right. And if, if he is a good guy, he doesn't want to call me, I'm happy to talk to him, too. Okay, great. I'm going to, you know what? I'm going to call him back. I'm going to find out. I'm going to find out. <laughs> How are you, sir? I'm doing good, man. What's your name? Your African name is Edward. I've seen The Lion King because I'm a stepson about 12 times. There ain't no Edwards in The, in the Lion King. That's not an African name. <laughs> You're coming over here. So give, me, give me five minutes to pick up the place a little bit. I don't I'll want Vietnam place. Hold on, listen to me. I don't want Vietnam place. Stop that. Now, who, what, what type of gods did you worship? Did you worship like dogs and cows and shit like that? Christian Lord, Christian Lord, Jesus Christ. All right, all right, Jesus Christ. Now, I like that. I do like that about you, Edward. Now, uh, I'm a little bit uh, curious about how you came upon my sister. But I'm not, that's not for that. That's like if someone gets too close, I'm going to fucking stab you. You know, they got to pay attention to the social distancing. It's like, what, six feet or something? Are you too close? Come on, I'm going to hit you with my knife.